What's up everybody, it's Matt, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be swapping out this Avengers Tower and replacing it with the 2023 version. Now, this one has served me or served the city pretty well for the last seven years. It is a custom build that I did back in 216 using a couple of official Avenger sets that were released back around that time. But now it is definitely time for an upgrade. So what we're going to do is take this out of the city, put it next to the new Avengers Tower just for comparison in terms of height and the overall look. And then we're going to place the new Avengers Tower in the city. Now I've also added a custom light kit to it, which I really can't wait to show you guys how it looks. And then we'll switch off all the lights and just see how it fits in with the city. So let's get this one on the table and do the comparison. All right, everybody. So here are the two Avengers towers side by side and what a big difference in size. Just overall, the 2023 set looks incredible towers over my custom Avengers tower and it actually looks a lot more to scale and movie accurate to be honest with you compared to the Mach 1 and one of the things that I really like the most is that the sticker has been exchanged that looks just so tacky now that I look at it compared to now that we have some nice lettering on the side there which looks really really nice the Quinjet also looks fantastic on the landing pad, I had space for a Quinjet on my landing pad, but at the time there wasn't anything size-wise that would fit on there, so I never actually put anything on that landing pad. Um, but overall, it just looks so much better. The windows look more realistic and like, you know, a building, like windows on a building, how they should look, whereas these are just really, it just doesn't look that good to me. So, now that we've seen how these buildings compare to each other, let's get the new Avengers Tower in the city, connect it up to the light or connect it up to power so we can show you all the lights in the building and then we'll get your overall opinion. So let's go. Okay, so the Avengers Tower is now placed officially in the city and we've connected the lights up to it and it looks absolutely incredible. It seriously is now the biggest building I have in the Lego city. And if I zoom out, you can just see how big it is compared to all the other modulars, obviously. The Daily Bugle, it even towers over that, believe it or not. It literally makes the Daily Bugle look so minute compared to it. And it just gives this part of the city a little bit of height now, which I really like. And if you just go in a little bit closer, we can actually see all the lights. So we've added a flashing light right at the top of the tower. We've lit up the A and a strip along that side there. And I've also added Iron Man flying out of the tower. And also we've done a little light coming into the landing dock over there and then down the tower we've just added a few lights throughout the building and i really just wanted to keep it very simple in terms of lighting i got some inspiration from the avengers tower in spider-man homecoming it was very simply lit up only a few windows to sort of replicate that some people are still in the office so i didn't want to make it too bright and add lights all the way through the building and then i also noticed in the movie they had a couple of spotlights on each side of the building this one here is a little bit hard to see because the street lamp is overpowering it a bit so i'm thinking of taking out the street lamp so you can see the spotlight a little bit better like this one over here but if you sort of come around here, it does still light up different parts of the building pretty nicely. And then I wanted to keep all that part not lit up. So that way the A and this top part here stood out the most because I think that's the main focal point of the tower. And then if you come around here, you can see obviously the light allows you to see what's inside the rooms 
relatively nicely. So it does still present quite a decent amount of light. But again, I didn't want it to really overpower too much. It's nice and subtle, which I really like. But let's switch off the lights now in the room and see how this looks when we're in complete night mode. I can't wait to show you guys. Let's go check it out. Okay, now this is, I'm seeing this for the first time like you guys with the lights off. I'm speechless, that looks incredible. That looks so, so nice. And I think I got it pretty close to the tower in the Homecoming movie. I'm, I think I got it pretty close. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But that looks so much cooler at night. That A really stands out. Iron Man, you can probably see the light better in the hangar there. Just nice and subtle. And then all the windows. Now, if, now you can see a lot better if I zoom in a bit here. You can see what's inside the buildings now that the lights are turned off. And like I said, if, if you come around any sort of air, you know, side of the building, it does light it up enough that you can actually see in all angles of the windows, which is really good. So I'm happy with that. And like I said, if you come to the front of the building, which you're not going to really look at because it's facing another building, but you can still see what's going on in there. And then moving down, you can also see the vending machine that I lit up there. I'll just zoom in on that a bit, focus in there. So you can see the vending machine that I lit up. And then obviously you can go in here and we can see inside the foyer. And you can kind of see the spotlights a bit better now, but you can see what I'm talking about. The street lamp overpowers that side. So I'm still undecisive. I think I'm leaning towards maybe removing it, but I don't know yet. But overall, looks absolutely awesome. I'll pan out so we can actually see a full view of the whole city with the new Avengers Tower in place. Man, incredible. I absolutely love it. One of my, probably my favorite sets released this year, most definitely hands down. I've always wanted to change my Avengers Tower and the fact that they actually released an official set this like big and this incredible it just worked straight into the city it went absolutely amazing i love it well that pretty much does it for today's video so make sure on your way out please hit the subscribe button and turn on all your notifications give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me what you guys think of the avengers tower so until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.